One of the common themes in the comments coming through on my land expropriation videos is people saying that uh, white people don't belong in Africa, that uh, white people came and enslaved the black people, the natives, and subjugated them and have destroyed their culture. And all of this is true. Europeans have a long and bloody history of doing awful things to other um, cultures and other uh, groups of people. And white and other colors. So, I mean, if we look at America, um, all of Africa, Australia even, uh, white people have a, have, have, have a pretty... Uh, sketchy past. Now, having said that, um, first of all, the one point that also we need to keep in mind is that every culture has a history. And obviously, because the cultures are different, the histories are different, but a lack of violence in any human culture or, or group is very rare. So let's call that a part of our current human nature. We are a pretty violent lot and we have been for a long time. We seem to revel in embracing the opportunities to you know, slaughter each other and rape each other's women and kill each other's children or enslave them. So that's that's the one side of, let's call it the spectrum. Now, what's interesting is that in a lot of ways, things have changed so that we're not so much doing the whole land invasion thing as much anymore. It is still being done. There is still a lot of violence in the world. There is still a lot of um, really awful stuff happening between countries and things like that but for those places where there is a relative stability and let's call it peace we are actually still doing those same things to ourselves and to each other and it's not a, a matter of race or culture it's a matter of economic status we are enslaving each other and we're enslaving ourselves to the system. We're subjugated to the people who pay us. And we're essentially decimating our population by not providing that which we need because we're demanding payment in exchange for things like health care, um, good food, education, sanitation, things like that. So... The only difference in how things are today in the modern world and how things were in the past is that now it's not so easy to tell what's going on. It's not so easy to see what's happening, to realize the extent of enslavement that we all are living in to the bigger system, the global system that we have created. And sure, we could blame rich people or white people or black people. We can blame whoever we want to. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change the fact that this is where we are and we're all in this together. And we're all contributing to how things are. We're all very, very small pieces of the puzzle. And it's because we are living the way that we are that the puzzle looks the way that it does. Our small individual parts make up the whole. And what I've also found interesting is that we keep reverting back to wanting to just keep doing the same things in order to solve the old, same old problems. Like, now let's take South Africa as an example again. Um, <clears throat> the, there's been a lot of hatred and anger stirred up, and the solution that uh, that is being promoted by certain individuals that now actually has 
gained a following of, of supporters is that the problems that we're facing in South Africa are because white men and white people are here. And the solution is to get rid of white people. And what's interesting about that solution is that in essence, it's exactly the same as what Europeans have done to all the other cultures. It's just kind of repeating the same things and expecting different results. And there's a saying about insanity, and I think we're all pretty much crazy because we all keep doing the same things and expecting different results. Now, the solutions that are being proposed, it's the same things. Um, the hatred that's being evoked within the black communities now, it's exactly the same hatred that was used in um, w with white people against black people in apartheid South Africa or with the with Nazi Germany against the Jews. It's exactly the same thing and it's going to create exactly the same results. It's no different. It's just more of the same. So, obviously, that's not what we want. No one wants that. And what we want is to create a world where everyone has a place to call their own. They have their own space. They have the resources with which they can create a good life for themselves. Because that's what we all want. We want good lives for ourselves and for our families and for each other at the end of the day. Uh, it's just that we have not been... Uh, we, we've been stuck in a certain way of thinking that prevents us from seeing that the solution is so super duper easy. It is just to live differently, to create a different world, to, to give that which we would like to receive. All right, so in any, in changing any particular pattern because this is a pattern, because it repeats itself over and over. So in changing any pattern within ourselves, the first step is always awareness and seeing and realizing exactly what we've been doing. So how can we start seeing the true nature of how we live and the true nature of how it actually is enslaving us, how we are actually enslaving ourselves in our lifestyles, in our belief systems, uh, in in the way that we think the world works, how do our thought patterns enslave us? How do they keep us locked in a small box that we do not allow ourselves to step out of, to consider that maybe there's something different, something better? Awareness is always the first step. So if you're willing to look outside of your box, then start doing it. Start asking questions. Don't stop asking questions until you have no more questions to ask, until you get down right to the bottom of it. And this is regarding the world system, the, the, the systems around you, as well as within yourself. Why did I just have that thought? Where did it come from? Is this who I want to be? And through that building of awareness and through asking those questions, we can start also, we deconstruct who we are and how we live. And within that deconstructing, we give ourselves the opportunity to build ourselves up again, to create ourselves into a version of ourselves that we're proud of, that we know we can honor, that we know will contribute towards creating a better world for everyone okay i'm gonna end it there thank you very much for watching if you'd like to support me you can do that on patreon or on steemit which is a social network that has its own cryptocurrency um, otherwise if you'd like to be part of the discussion if you have any questions to ask if you have any particular topics you'd like me to cover then leave a message or a comment and i'll do my best to um respond or do a video for you and otherwise i will see you next time